slide them into the net. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty good healthy looking fish. That's one we'll take home and we'll show you how good these things are smoked up. Beautiful. As we said before, a uh, good quality fish. I'm going to turn it over. But one of the things I've noticed about it is the colour of the flesh. Um, and this tells me this fish has been eating off the bottom uh, of the lake and um, the kura, the, the, the crayfish, the, the freshwater fish, the uh, crayfish that are on the right on the bottom and you can see on here the, um, the, the fat and the nice, the nice um, flesh in the, um, in the trout itself. So but what I start off with, I always start with a, now this is not the only way to do this, I've, I've seen other people um, bone fish out before and they have, there are all sorts of different methods so um, my way is not necessarily the right way but um, it's the way I did it for years because I hate bones eating fish with bones in it. And so I generally, I have a nice sharp knife to start with, and the first thing I do is cut into the, uh, under the rib cage, and come, come in and just feel the bones as I, and you can see what happens here, you're automatically exposing the, the nice flesh without too much problem at all. So come down here, and it looks a bit fiddly, it is, but it's worth it. So once I get that far, I come up here, past the tail, down through the backbone, feel the backbone, all the way down. Now, once I get here, you'll hear that noise. That's bone that is attached to the backbone. That's the side, the lateral bone. And I'll come right down here and you'll see that's a nice clean cut. Now all we should be left with in that flesh are the bones that are those lateral bones that we cut that are sitting down in here and they come back about a 45 degree. So we've got to get rid of this part here. So we turn that around and we repeat the method. Now this is harder than what we just did for the simple reason we've got a bit of um, uh, flat, uh, flat around softness so you got to try and remember we're doing everything opposite so we're um, trying to keep that knife as close to those rib cage that rib cage as we can once again now this time we're going to cut back and keep that knife as close as we can to that without leaving flesh behind. And so I said before, we've got a little bit of flesh we left behind here, but I'm sure by the time we get there. And this is where it gets tough. Now once I get to here, go through here, there's the tail, off, give that a little bit of a cut there, and you can literally rip the backbone out. And there's your, your backbone and your ribcage, everything all in one. So you put that aside. Now, to get the other, you can see how floppy it is now. That's all the flesh. We've still got the skin on, and that's good for holding all the ingredients you're going to put on afterwards for ready for smoking. Now, if you feel you put your fingers down here, you can feel that that little bone. And they all they run out somewhere around about here, and they always go back towards the middle at about a 45 degree angle. And I always try and straighten them up with the knife. Feel them. You'll feel them touch every now and then. Just keep going outside. Work your way back to the skin. Go to the other side of it. Hopefully we get this right. And I know um, qualified chefs and that are going to be looking at me in disgust doing this because they would um, salmon would uh, be picking these things out one by one. But because these are so fine, they'll actually break as most people find, and you end up leaving a lot more 
again in and out. So by doing this you sacrifice a bit of fish for flavour and comfort of eating without bones. And I just curl the knife under as if you're going to be about to skin it. And you'll see that that just Okay, you've got a gap there, but that will actually close up. There's your, your bones are all in there. Quite often the cats will eat that. They love it. And you go and do the same thing on the other side. You can tell a lot about a man by his smoker and I'll tell you what, judging by Ken's smoker, he's obviously caught a lot of fish and he's very thorough because this is an awesome looking smoker. So what he's done is set in a uh, gas cooker ring there at the bottom which heats up his uh, smoke box and this is a, a metal smoker and he's actually got a big gas bottle around the other side so this thing can uh, go for hours without running out of gas and obviously get, generates a nice amount of heat and looking at the, the tarnish inside from the smoke, it's um, well seasoned. We cleaned it up and come back in a couple of hours and we'll see what happens. Man, that was just the best.